In this video, we're going to talk about the properties of MLE. First, we're going to talk about the advantages of MLE. So MLE is easy. It's easy to set up the likelihood function and easy to understand the results. And oftentimes, the results are very intuitive. Easy to understand. Next one is asymptotical properties under regularity conditions. So first asymptotical property is a consistency. It means a uh, MLE of so data asymptotically almost surely converges to a true value of Uh, true value of the parameters. So um, asymptotically almost surely is fairly uh, formal statistical notation. Uh, more casually speaking, this means that MLE will give you the value of a parameter estimation. True, true uh, value of the true parameters with high probability. Second one is so asymptotically normal. This means that um, the distribution of the estimator is approximately normal, follows a normal distribution. As we keep increasing the sample sizes. So third asymptotic asymptotical property is uh, efficiency. This means that the MLE estimators asymptotically has a variance equals to uh, Kramer Row lower bound. So we'll see R L B. So Kramer Rao Rao lower bound expresses a lower bound on the variance of estimators. So the fact that it has, uh, it its variance asymptotically. Uh, gets equal to the Kramer lower bound is that the MLE estimator has the lowest asymptotical variance and it's optimal. So the last advantage we're going to talk about is the invariance. So this means uh, ML uh, invariance means ML is invariant under functional transformation. For example, say is a so the sigma ML of sigma is so this is the ML of the the sigma, the population standard deviation, then the squared squared uh, MLE of sigma is also MLE of the variance of a population. This means uh, 
Uh, so the variance, MLE of the variance is equal to the squared uh, squared uh, MLE of standard deviation. Here the functional transformation is uh, squared and uh, as we mentioned uh, ML is invariant under this, this functional transformation. Now we're going to talk about the disadvantages of MLE. First um, disadvantage we're going to talk about is uh, point, MLE is a point estimation. It gives us a uh, best estimate of an unknown fixed parameter. So it does not have a, does not give us a uncertainty measures. So if you think of a, a interval estimations, which gives a confidence intervals, it gives you a, like uncertainties of this that estimate so that you can have a more information on how to select the uh, estimated uh, parameter. So for example, and how reliable it is. So the, if, you, if we have some graph of a likelihood respect to uh, beta, looks like something like this and this will give a theta m sub l mle of theta for this point but we might be interested in, in actually uh, this point this theta so if you have uh, some certainties we'll know how how the, the distribution of theta will look like and have a probably a better make a better decision on the, the estimations so and then next disadvantage is uh, overfitting so um, for example uh, let's have a uh, think of a coin to see coin tossing problem. This follows a Bernoulli distribution with a and let's say a probability of being head is a P. And we, this is unknown and then we want to estimate the P. Yeah. And this can be uh, calculated, the MLE, by number of samples with head over num number of total samples. But let's assume that we, we have um, toasted a coin three times and it all resulted in uh, tails. So that means that uh, MLE of P is zero. So this is sometimes called the uh, black swan paradox. So basically it gives a zero probability on unseen cases. So this is a problem of a uh, MLE. And MLE the existence 
and uniqueness of MLE are not guaranteed. So MLE might not exist simply or there there can be uh, multiple MLEs. And then lastly, MLE can be highly biased. Or small sample size. So I mean, this is a fairly simple uh, fact. So these are the advantages and disadvantages of MLE.